Come on, children. Let us study second chapter from your syllabus, the living plant. For this study, we must go in the garden. We must have one picnic in the garden. Now imagine that you are in the garden and you are playing very happily in the garden. Now, first of all, tell me which things do you see in the garden? You must have seen children playing in the garden. They must be playing with you. There are few cute rabbits, white rabbits. They are attracting you and they are calling you uh, play behind, uh, run behind us and catch me, catch us. Now, these rabbits are very cute and you must have seen a gardener and what that gardener is doing? Gardener is watering the plants because he is taking care of the plants every day. Now, some senior citizens are also there and they are sitting on the bench watching you playing happily. Now, there, are, there is so much wood and uh, there is soil and on that soil green grass is there and on that green grass so many people are sitting happily and some are uh, some children are crawling some are playing with the ball all these things are there and some butterflies they are flying from one flower to another and they are also making you very happy because of their colorful appearance. The slides, they are calling you to play and you are taking fun, you are making fun, taking fun, doing fun, everything there. And you are playing on the swings also. And there are so many trees in the garden. Garden is full of plants, animals, flowers, everything. So, these are all the things present in the garden. Now, we have to classify them. How will you classify them? So, first of all, tell me. If you see a bench in that garden and after one year, if you go there, at that time, that bench whether it will increase in the size after one year or whether it will be like that only. Yes, your answer is correct. It will not increase in size. And if you have seen one plant there, suppose you have sown a small seed there and that seed it has turned into a sapling when you are playing for a few days and after one to two years if you go to that garden that seed or that sapling it will be converted into a big tree very nice tree why does this happen because there is growth of that plant children Remember, when, when you were born, at that time you were a small baby. Then, when you came to school, you were a small kid. Now, you are grown, grown up and now you are 10 to 11 years old. Now, you are my children, very cute children. But, now, after some years, if we... We'll uh, if you will be the graduate and you will come to me at that time, you will be an adult. So, these are the growing stages of these children, human beings. Remember, from baby to adult, there is growth of the human being. In this way, if you see the bench, will there be a growth of that bench? No, there will be no growth. That's why these things, some things are seen only in uh, uh, these things and they are not seen here. 
For example, growth. Growth occurs only in living things and not in non-living things. That's why these things are called living and these things are called non-living things. Not only growth, but suppose I want to go there. And I want to come back here. What I have done? I have moved from one place to another. Why does this happen? Because I am living thing. I have life. I am living thing. That's why I can move here. I can grow. I can move. That's why I am included in living things. But if I take my pain to go there, and uh, will it go there on its own accord? No. Answer will be no because it has no quality, no feature of movement. In this way, because of some characteristics, they are divided into two categories. One is living and another one is non-living. So, living things and these are non-living. Yes. <laughs> 